South Africa's Reserve Bank has warned that the country's financial system will be at risk if MTN Group Limited repatriates $10 billion as required by Nigerian authorities. The move, according to a report by the bank, will wipe out its market value. Nigeria's central bank has asked MTN to return $8.1 billion, which it accuses of repatriating illegally. And the Attorney General is demanding a further $2 billion in unpaid taxes. Africa's largest wireless carrier by subscribers, along with four banks, Standard Chartered PLC, Citigroup Inc., Stanvik IBTC PLC and Diamond Bank PLC are under pressure to refund the money. MTN has sought a court injunction to buy itself time to fight the claim. The mobile phone service provider may be forced to exit the Nigerian market if the dispute is unresolved. This week marks two years since the Egyptian government floated the pound as part of aggressive reforms aimed at rebuilding the economy. CGTN's Yasser Hakim looks at the effects of the currency devaluation two years on. Back in 2013, Egypt's economic growth was at minus 2%, foreign reserves had dwindled by two-thirds, and the black market was controlling the currency. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi had to take the tough decision to float the pound. I think that the devaluation happened uh, at the right time. Since we floated the currency two years ago, there has been uh, extremely positive developments uh, on the macroeconomic side, uh, especially when it comes to uh, macroeconomic growth, real GDP growth. Uh, definitely inflation has spiked uh, post-flotation, uh, but then uh, once the numbers uh, started to level off to the norm, then things have become better in terms of purchasing power. Uh, we've seen a lot, the confidence in the Egyptian economy went up uh, after flotation. We've seen uh, foreigners uh, pump uh, into uh, portfolio investments uh, around uh, more than $20 billion uh, at their peak. Uh, also, we've seen the remittances by Egyptians working ab abroad uh, go up to uh, 20, uh, 26 or 27 billion uh, dollars. Since then, the black market had disappeared and the pound is steady against foreign currencies. However, there have been some side effects. The import and energy subsidy bills have nearly doubled, forcing the government to slash fuel and electricity grants. It has also had to provide for low-income earners who carry the burden of these measures. There was a lot of uh, social support uh, for the lower income groups in order to reduce the effect of flotation and uh, the high inflation that resulted from flotation. Uh, there was a lot of social packages, uh, salary increases for public sector employees that the government introduced in order to reduce the negative impacts of flotation. The low value of the pound makes Egypt's products and services much cheaper in international markets. Therefore, analysts expect more foreign currency revenue from industrial production, exports, and the thriving tourism sector. It's been two years since the floating of the Egyptian pound. President el-Sisi has promised burdened Egyptians that they will begin to reap the benefits of these tough austerity measures by mid-2019. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.